Welcome back to another video from Sequence.ai. Be the first SAP consultant in your industry to master SAP Gen AI and enjoy the advantages of being a leader. Our courses are designed to boost your career. It's crafted by SAP veterans and former SAP employees. Today, we are going to learn how to extract information from documents using generative AI. For that, we'll be using SAP Business Technology Platform and SAP Business Technology Platform has a service called Document Information Extraction Service. The Document Information Extraction Service basically uses the large language models of generative AI. So what we'll be doing is that we'll be uploading documents to the Document Information Extraction Service and the service will extract automatically the information within the document for us. So where it is applied in our businesses. So if you are a finance manager and you are managing around 10 invoices per day, which is equal to around 300 invoices a month, there, there's a lot of manual work to be done. You have to manually check the invoices, the date, the invoice numbers, the total cost, the item values, etc. And you have to manually put that into the SAP systems. Now with this, automation using the document information extraction service you can upload the data in the document automatically to the sap systems or any other systems and it is possible through the generative ai features this is one of the application of generative ai the extraction of information from the documents that's cool and if you are new to generative ai and sap generative ai particularly there are detailed blocks which explains about deep learning, machine learning, large language models, etc. in our blog site, sequence.ai slash blocks. So let's see how we can configure the document information extraction service in SAP Business Technology Platform and how to use some of the documents, custom documents to extract information. So let's get started. Log on to SAP Business Technology Platform, go to the Global Accounts and Boosters. In the Boosters, search for the document to set up the Document Information Extraction Service. So you'll find a tile out there for the Document Information Extraction Service. Click on that and then click on the Start button. It is going to automatically set up the Document Information Extraction Service for us. Click on the Finish button here after giving choosing the sub-account that you have. It is going to take a couple of minutes or a few seconds to set up the document extraction service for us. Click on the go to application, which will take us to the document information extraction. Here we have to create a schema. A schema is nothing but a new way of definition of how the document is going to look like. Okay, I'll give a name and a document type. Here I will choose custom because I'm going to upload some custom documents for extracting the information. Okay. I've created a schema. Uh, it's now getting activated. Okay, I can see it is getting activated now, but yeah, I'll add uh, some of the fields here for the schema. I'll add invoice number and uh, I will give it as the header field and I have to choose a data type. What is the type of the data which is coming for that field? I'll choose string and then I will save then I have to add some additional fields as well. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to upload an invoice, okay? And I'm defining the details of the invoice content, like the invoice date, date, the total due value in the invoice, etc. So that the schema is being defined with the header, header fields and then the line item details as well, what service it has been given in that, etc. So what happens, the schema will be able to identify these fields from the document that is the invoice that we are going to upload. Okay, so let me add few more line item fields in here, like the service, the price, the quantity, etc. Let's make it quick. Okay, so you can see some of the fields I'm choosing is currency, for example, for the total value. I'll click on activate. So it is now getting activated once it is active okay it is now in the active stage okay now i'll go back to document 
menu and I'm going to upload the invoice, a sample invoice which I have in my system. Here I have to choose the schema which I have actually just created. Okay, I'll choose the schema I had just created. I'll add a document here. So I'll upload a sample document, which is nothing but a invoice. Okay, so now what it will do is that it will extract the information from the document and those information will be mapped with the fields that we have defined in our schema. So it's now ready, click on that. Now it should map the information from the document with the schema details. Let's check out how it is being done. So you can see here the total mapping, etc. So let's say extraction results. Here you can see how it is being mapped. You can see the date has been mapped, invoice number has been mapped, total value has been mapped. And let's check out the line items here. So the line item number one, that is service, that is the storybook and the cost and total, etc. etc. So everything has been extracted. We can use information to put into our SAP system. Okay. So now let's try a different option. Here I'm going to create a schema for uh, resume. So mostly you may have seen that when you upload resume to job portals, it automatically extracts information from your PDF resume, right? How it is being done automatically. So it's all about these large language model capabilities of the generative AI. So I'm going to put here the name for the as a string, which is nothing but the name of the person who is applying for the job that should be taken from the resume that we're going to upload. So I'll add a few more fields here. So fundamentally what this extraction service will help us with is that you can use the schema that we're defining and you can use or you can integrate this extraction service with SAP systems so that the moment when you just upload the document into the extraction service it automatically picks up the data and you can map this data with the SAP systems to put the data data into the SAP system automatically that's how you're going to save the time and if you are managing millions of invoices and resumes this is a awesome service to use let's try out the resume uh, service that we have just defined okay i will upload a, a dummy sample resume here let me choose one of this okay Cool. it is uploading the document now it has to extract information as well so let's click on confirm let's wait for it to get ready it's in pending stage now you can see it is ready now great let's check out how it is being mapped extraction results here okay it's perfectly done the address the email the name the work experience education everything is mapped fantastic good job thank you for watching we hope you found this video insightful and inspiring. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated on SAP's latest AI solutions. Please share the video with your SAP community and visit us at seconds.ai to get started.